Good morning. Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by and you got here just in time. That's right. It is Sunday morning and we have another campground to explore. It is March 9, 2022. Fuel prices have gone absolutely through the roof. A gallon of diesel is five gal five dollars a gallon or more. And with that in mind, I've had to change up the modus operandi and Trudy Thunder's parked in the garage. So I have traveled north in White Lightning. It's kind of kind of funny how things work out. I've been putting together this this truck camping kit and all of a sudden it's become my <laughs> the most economical way to go RVing. So I now have the F-150 RV. And we are at Juniper Point, Lake Texoma. That is Lake Texoma, the Red River right out there. We are in campsite number 31. Let's do a quick campsite tour. We're the last campsite on the camping loop. You know me, I like to be at the end of the road. Although, <laughs> there's nobody here. It wouldn't have made any difference. But it's kind of working out good because 31 is at the end of the road and there's a great big pile of dead wood right there. So I can build myself a bonfire. I'm only here for one night. One night and one night only. Site number 31. Now this is a Corps of Engineer campground. Gravel pad. It appears to be pretty level. Lots of shade so during the summer this would be a good site. Now I'm going to be setting up the teepee right there. It's water and electric. 30 amp. Frost proof faucet. We have a concrete table. A fire ring with a cooking grate. And a table for putting your camp stove on. And that's it. <laughs> the ubiquitous lantern hook is missing. I don't know how we're going to camp. I have a solution to that. We'll get to that. Well, right now, and as you can see, the it appears that the people who get a free campsite for taking care of the campground, you tell me, every fire pit is overflowing. I'm gonna set. I'm gonna pitch a tent, and then we'll go see some stuff. Camp is pretty well finished i'm finished setting up camp the one thing I, I really don't have is a i don't really have a, a cooking surface i think i can use the the tailgate of the truck for that though I, I didn't i didn't bring a whole lot of food i'm just here for one night pretty much all the food's already cooked all i gotta do is warm it up so i'll just pop it in a little charbroil gas grill so we've got the the fire pit well i don't have to go all the way over there but I, Got my chairs, got the teepee tent. Got the bed all set up. I've got a desk. Well, I call it a desk. I may use that table for cooking, but that's, that's all I gotta work on the computer. So let's go see some stuff. And when I get back from running around in the truck, cause this campground is in two parts. Half of it is on the other side of the busy highway, so I don't want to take a little red over there. Explore that first, and then we'll come back and deploy a little red and, and see everything else. Go see some stuff. Juniper Point is on the upstream end of, of Lake Texoma, which is on the Red River. So that, that other side, that's Oklahoma. The bridge is currently under construction and they stop traffic frequently. 
so we're not going to have a whole lot of road noise. But I'll bet when that bridge is finished, the, the road noise here is probably substantial. I believe that at one time this was probably a great place to pull your boat up. And then they came along and they put in the riprap. So you'd have to pull your boat up over there. And it looks like somebody's boat sank right there. But the almost all of the campsites, I'd, I'd say 50% of the campsites, there's 31 campsites, I'd say 50% of those are right here on the water. Let's go see some stuff. Recreation.gov does not clearly explain Juniper Point. As with most of the COE campgrounds, Juniper Point West doesn't do a very good, is, is not very well explained. There's actually two sides, east and west. And on the west side, there's the parking lot for the Cross Timbers Texoma Hiking Trail. And it's about 12 miles long, as far I, I believe. There's some really fantastic sites over here, but it's uh, there's signs that say no camping. So I guess it's day use only. So if you're planning a visit to Juniper Point and you're not so concerned about being next to the lake but having a good solid concrete pad, then Juniper Point West is where you're going to want to reserve your campsite. I didn't know this when I was making my reservations because <laughs> recreation.gov does not tell you and their pictures are horrible. These are 50 amp sites, 50 amp and water. I don't see any sewer. And I have yet to see a, a functional dump station. The dump station on the other side, of the, on the east side, looks like it's the only dump station and it seems to be out of operation maybe i don't know i'll keep looking let's go see some more stuff so i was wrong there is a dump station it is on the west side and it's kind of kind of easy to miss because it, it's not clearly identified as a dump station for my boat ramp fans juniper point west as a boat ramp. Looks like a two-laner with a courtesy dock. If you catch a an alligator gar, you must be reported. It must be you must report. And if it has a tag, you certainly need to tell them. I don't know what that's all about. I guess that's intended for the the bow fisherman crowd. This is a courtesy dock slash fishing dock. Fishing is permitted on this side and boating is on that side. It doesn't look like the water's too very deep here though. And I'm basing that on the fact that there's a lot of sand stirred up by the boat that just pulled out of the water. Deer ran across the road on my way back to camp. So if you're going to camp at Juniper Point, you have to decide what's what's more important: showers and toilets, or lakeside campsite and a vault toilet. <laughs> well, if you have a motor home, uh, the lakeside would be a great option. All right, let's go see some more stuff. So most of the, the campsites over here on the on the east side, Juniper Point East side, do not have covers over the picnic tables, but there are a few, such as this one. This is site number 22. This is actually probably one of the better sites on the east side because it's pretty smooth pretty level 
and you're right here on the water. How cool is that? All right, let's, let's go see some more stuff. Juniper Point East also has a boat ramp for my boat ramp fans, as well as a dual function courtesy dock and fishing dock. Looks like there's lots of birds that poop down here. Looks like there's lots of birds that poop all over the boot dock. Now you can tell how that the lake is really low because those you probably can't see them, but there's buoys laying on their side. There you go. All right. Let's go see what else we can find. I was wrong. They do have flushing toilets up here on the east side. Juniper Point on the east side has got flushing toilets, no door on the stall. And then in here we have two showers with shower curtains. So you can get clean when you're dirty. You gotta climb a serious hill to get here. I'll just, we'll just ride down that hill. Or you can drive the, uh, the long way around. a pretty good hike up this hill if you've got some mobility issues and the parking lot is pretty rough as surface as well all right let's let's go see what else we can find juniper point east has a group pavilion with a really good echo echo there's actually a couple of rv plugs here but you'd have to run your, your cord you'll need a long cord for both sides because that one's kind of out of the way too and of course they've got the culvert standing on in pit toilets that are so pleasant all right let's go find some more stuff as i mentioned when i was over on the west side the dump station here is closed on the here on the east side get a little spin out on the gravel this dump station is closed off for whatever reason. Of course, you know, they, they don't tell us why. They just tell us it's closed. Let's go see what else we can get into. Since we're located right on the Texas-Oklahoma state line, there is, of course, a Texas state sign. That way you can get your picture with the Texas sign. The Light Ranger. I really, really, really like. I know Yeppy's going to like that one too. Uh, I think the Light Ranger puts out more light than my little Roy B LED.
good morning and what a beautiful morning it is of course you saw on the the time lapse the the sunrise breakfast was fantastic i thought i'd share with you some of the gear that i'm using most of the gear that i'm using is available on amazon i am an amazon influencer and i do earn a little revenue anytime you click a link i appreciate that it helps support the channel especially with fuel prices the way they are i need all the help i can get right up there there's a card there'll be a link and in the description below there's a link to my amazon influencer page and on that page you'll find multiple lists and one of those is the truck camping list my camp kitchen for this little excursion i, I tried to keep it as simple and efficient as possible now, i already had the little weber gas grill uh, I, I brought that because we're in a and I, I didn't know this until late yesterday but there's a burn ban in effect here and they don't want you using charcoal or open flame so fortunately i have brought the little gas grill and my lodge griddle that we have already reviewed for the record this is the first time i've used the lodge griddle with the weber grill it worked out okay i didn't realize that i was going to need to crank the little grill all the way up which means it's not very efficient with the little greeny bottle of propane but it worked uh, i really like the lodge griddle because it's it's easy to store i just put it in the camp box and it's it's flat uh, the little weber grill gives the, me the ability to well to, to grill when i can't have an open fire but for coffee this morning i would i used the little ozark mountain single burner propane stove bought a little M, uh, ozark trail mess kit kind of like the little boy scout mess kits but it had the little pot which was just the perfect size for boiling the water and i used a pour over with number a number two filter a little camp setup worked out great my refrigerator is the bouge rv soft side love that thing worked out perfect that's the camp kitchen set up it's in the links below i think that breakfast pretty well wraps up our our visit here to juniper point campground on lake texoma to sum up my experience here at juniper point as far as camping goes it's pretty darn peaceful no road noise from the highway which i was was quite surprised this is a nice little campground <laughs> it doesn't have a whole lot of amenities i've got access to the lake you know i had power and water although i didn't need much of that if it was warmer i wouldn't have probably used any power at all it's a great waypoint stop if you're moving north and south kind of off the main arteries but if you're if you're traveling you can make a detour <laughs> It's been a, a night or two here. During the summer, this place is probably crazy busy. But right now, this time of year, is all open. If this is your first visit to Dude RV, I sure appreciate you stopping by. And if y'all found some value and or entertainment in my little production about Juniper Point Campground, Lake Texoma, I'd, I'd appreciate you clicking on that thumbs up and sharing me on your social media. That really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And if you've not already, I'd really be honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button and remember to hit that bell as well. For those of you who have been following along, <laughs> that's, that's why I'm out here sleeping in, in that tent. It's for you. Thank you for that opportunity. And I get to see all kinds of cool places I never would have been to before if it wasn't for your assistance in, in supporting the channel. Thank you for that. And for my patrons, thank you. You rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?